Honestly, I'll advise everyone to join Speed Institute because, uh, like the videos I had seen, it was more than sufficient. I don't think there was anything that was asked beyond those videos. So I had uh, given my NEET exam uh, last year, but I couldn't uh, clear it. So I got a rank of around 2,900. After that, I had uh, joined Speed uh, Institute. So. So after that, I used to, I so I was preparing for uh, NEET itself. I used to watch your uh, videos, like starting from the basic concept uh, and then switched over to the master class videos. I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of uh, Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> Speed Medical Institute to Thank Dr. So much, Dr. Karthik M. Kamath for scoring uh, AML rank of 16 in MCH Plastic Surgery. INI SS session Thanks, April 2024. Congratulations. Great doctor. Can we know your detailed background? history from where you started till date. Uh, Dr. Karthik Kamath, I am currently working as a senior resident at uh, Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Medical Sciences at uh, Vartha. I have uh, completed 10 months of my uh, senior residency over here. Before that, I had uh, I did my post-graduation from the same institute, MJIMS Vartha. And uh, I was a undergraduate from uh, St. GSMC and KEM Hospital. Great doctor. Why plastic surgery? Uh, sir, I was posted in uh, the Department of Plastic Surgery during my internship, during which time I developed an interest in plastic surgery. And I had participated in the uh, intercollegiate part of plastic surgery quiz during my internship days. So since then, I had uh, been interested in uh, plastic surgery, sir. Great. So I had that interest uh, continued uh, even during my residency. Okay, so you decided to do MCH plastic. Yes. Sir. And uh, yes, sir. then how did you materialize it? How did you make it go and how when did you start your preparation, how did you start, what are your preparation strategy, was your primary exam was the NESS exam or a NEET exam, can you tell us on that? Uh, so actually I had uh, like prim my primary exam was uh, NEET exam, so I had uh, given my NEET exam uh, last year but I couldn't uh, clear it, so I got a rank of around 2900, after that I had uh, joint speed uh, institute, so. So after that, I used to, I so I was preparing for uh, NEET itself, I used to watch your uh, videos, like starting from the basic concept uh, and then switched over to the master class videos. So eventually in February, I decided that uh, the, the INISS uh, exam is around the corner, so I switched to plastic surgery uh, in February. So. So what I used to do was I used to only, uh, like I used to solve as many MCQs as possible. So if in any topic I used to get stuck, I, I used to get a lot of wrong answers. I used to see those particular videos, like uh, there were uh, plastic surgery, G, uh, GS and SS blended videos available in the plan. So I used to watch those videos and like uh, prepare on my weaker subjects first and then uh, like I used to read the standard textbooks. So I didn't go for a standard approach of covering everything at once and then doing revisions. I, like, focus more on my weaker aspects and then uh, continue. So. Great doctor. So is the preparation was a full-time preparation or you have been working and simultaneously? Uh, no sir, I was uh, simultaneously working sir. So uh, I used to do my preparation like two or three hours a day whenever the uh, office was. Great. When do working and... <laughs> yes sir. <laughs> like, most of the time I used to watch your videos only sir. So like it helped me build a lot of concepts. Uh, like, like in the last two months before uh, INISS, I didn't touch general surgery as well. Like, I didn't touch anything. I just uh, revised whatever we had uh, taught. I had made some notes. I used to do only those parts. So I didn't uh, like study as uh, a lot for uh, general surgery. Just uh, switch to plastic surgery. Great, doctor. Wonderful. Now, uh, how many questions did you attend, doctor? Uh, I had attempted uh, all 80, sir. Oh, 80 out of 80. Great. Congratulations. Yes, <laughs> now, interview, I mean, how did you approach the interview? Can you tell us something on your experience, so, what happened? Yes, sir. Actually, what happened was, sir, uh, like I had seen uh, YouTube videos of uh, previous uh, toppers. So, they, what they had said was, it was a Otsky pattern of uh, interview. And uh, what this time we had was more based on what we had experienced uh, with respect to plastic surgery. So my experience at uh, during my post graduation days was uh, limited. So we don't have a full time plastic surgeon over here. So I'd seen limited cases. So most of my viva was based on the cases which I had seen or assisted. So most of my viva was based on uh, hypospedias and DB fistulas. So, so basically they were just uh, 
like uh, interviewing about whatever we know as a surgeon rather than what's given in the book so great so uh, i mean can you tell us something what all they asked actually i mean something on uh, i mean what are what are the things which are handled there so that that could give an insight for the future students uh, so for uh, like uh, there were six uh, interviews sir uh, the first thing they asked was uh, what is my experience in uh, plastic surgery so i to i told uh, each and every one of them that there was a limited experience and mm. uh, there was only a visiting uh, faculty so i had assisted him mm. so they asked me what cases were uh, you had assisted mm. so i told them i had assisted the uh, hypospadias i have mm. uh, individually uh, performed the uvicular surgeries so my viva was based on that like uh, for hypospadias they, they were asking what are the types of surgery you mm. know a uh, will you approach a uh, patient that presents with hypospadias what they were looking at was how we approach the case rather than uh, the correct uh, answer like okay. if they say uh, if a 3 month old uh, baby comes to you with hypospadias they didn't want what type of surgery we will perform they what they wanted was how we will uh, assess the case first we mm. look for some other congenital anomalies and then counsel the parents uh, regarding the same so they wanted the approach rather than the <coughs> understood doctor now what will be your advice for your juniors or aspirants of mch plastic surgery for future so uh, honestly i'll advise everyone to join speed institute sir <laughs> <laughs> the preparation level was more than sufficient <laughs> because uh, like the videos i had seen it was more than sufficient i don't think there was anything that was as beyond those videos so the first thing that second thing i would uh, advise them to read the standard textbooks sir even during their pg days rather than going for some shortcut books i'll suggest that they read uh, sabester and bailey at least and depending on what uh, specialty they choose i'll say to cover at least a few topics like the common questions asked during the uh, residency itself so that uh, after the residency they can uh, like focus on the other topics which uh, are less commonly asked so that uh, they can prepare better for the uh, entrance exam so wonderful doctor now time to thank whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to do so uh, made your career uh, so first of all i'd like to thank you sir <laughs> 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 thank you uh, honestly sir, i couldn't have done it uh, without a video so that's uh, for sure that i couldn't have done it without speed uh, secondly my parents uh, they supported me throughout like they didn't interfere much uh, with the choice of uh, specialty i was taking they like were quite understanding and i told them that i want to go for plastics and uh, so my uh, batchmates i had a ent batchmate who had actually taught me uh, all this uh, like the majority chunk of the plastic surgery before the exam okay few days before the exam my week ages he had taught me so i'd like to thank him wonderful doctor interacting with you it's a great honor to be with you today and uh, once again on the behalf of faculty members and team of speed we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great 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 career ahead in plastic surgery god bless you with all that i mean you wanted and I mean definitely you will do a great career all the best thank you sir